What's up, YouTubers? It's your boy Bunny Blade. Here, yeah, doing it again. I'm just showing off a little setup here, you know. Looking at three remotes. That's my other bird right there. Um, well, this one here has been modified. As you could see, it has a camera right there. You probably won't be able to see it, but that's the antenna right there. Uh, basically, that camera is to um, so I could pick it up on my goggles and do some FPV. In. Yeah, and I also modified the the range that antenna right there actually that's a 5.8 um, antenna but um, it works so good with my um, as a matter of fact if you could see there's an antenna in back of that remote that's the remote control for that bird actually I could use that same remote and use it on this bird this bird hasn't been modified yet actually the only modification is the FPV camera which um, I'll show you right there okay so on my camera let me back it out so on my camera on the bugs this is the camera that came with the bugs this camera well this don't have a camera here uh, here is a little modification that I did um, and this one here that I uh, modify this is for your FPV so this give me a good range on the FPV and this is for this camera here the transmission from this camera has been modified okay. now, this bird here as you can see it also has a camera um, the modification here is not for the FPV on this camera that would be on this side and I had it modified but it broke off so right now this here is just I'm not really getting good signal actually this camera here um, that I that I embedded inside this bird um, a little upgrade you know and this the antenna right here actually this antenna broke on me um, you know by packing it and you know it ended up breaking on me so I have to go back in there and change this antenna here but and then I have this little mod here for the end for my for my receiver and I was telling you that this here is a 5.8 gigahertz now this bird communicates on 2.4 so I'm running a 5.8 antenna in a on, on a 2.4 um, system now I have other antennas here I have different antennas Yeah, let's see. Now I have different antennas that I could use. You know, that I could try. But this right here works. Works like a charm for me. And I've done the test. I've done the test with putting different and different um, antenna. And trust me. This is what I got. This is 
what gives me the best results. Okay, but today, today this video, it's not about um, the birds. It's not about the birds, and it's it's actually about the garments. It's actually about the garments. Okay, this is my Prime One S. And it's my Ishin 100. You know, I I got these over a period of a year, year and some now. But it's about this little baby here. This is what it is about. Now these, I guess they had. Um, when these, when virtual uh, game came about, these things was big, and they came, they came, they come with this little remote right here, you know, where you download a game on your phone, and you could, you put it, you put your phone inside the the goggles, and you know, you put you split the screen, put the phone inside the goggles, and basically, you just. Um, you know, you play the game, and but after a while, it became crappy because um, right now I have um, better um, resolution, and it's you know through this it's a crappy game. But anyway, they're pretty much giving these things away for like uh, twelve dollars. I got mine for five dollars. You know, it was through the Christmas season, and I just five dollars. I just picked it up just to play around with it. You know. But I figure I probably could just reconstruct, you know, change something in here and build my own or even, you know, modify this. But what I realized that I really had, didn't have to do anything. Now, this remote, I mean, I guess, this is um, a, um, Bluetooth. So you could connect this to your phone the Bluetooth and I guess you could play any game that's able to play with a joystick you could use this in a bunch of crap it has nothing to do with um, with drones okay but and then it comes with this thing with a little you know little pad here where you could wipe either your tears or wipe your uh, <laughs> your lenses you know, and it, as you can see, these are some big lenses. Okay. You know, so you have a big, you have a big view. Unlike the Ishin, where the view is like your, is like a little tunnel view. You're looking through a little tunnel, but the quality is good. This is what I fly with. These, uh, these I got these actually these these was my first one my, the Prime um, One S this was my first um, goggles and I mean it worked for a while but I put it down and I you know because I was using my uh, machine a lot and after a while it just started giving problems but I'm, I mean it's just been sitting there in the box. And it's not like it's been used or anything, and it just pick up an issue. It probably got jealous or something. I don't know. Anyway, back to these. So how these work is okay. So how these work is um, basically you snatch this out. Take your phone. Well, when you're doing um, flying drone, you'll be able to get the Apple allow you to split, split the screen in two. But you just put your phone. You you know I was saying that the app would allow you to split your screen in two. But you just take this, put your phone in it, and then you just there's a little thing right here the part of the phone um, you know it's in the little lip and you just slide it right in and as you can see 
know, you're seeing whatever is going on in the phone. Now, the screen needs to be split. Right now, I'm looking at what, I can see what's on the phone, on the screen of the phone, but it's kind of, it's weird because it needs to be split. So when you use these goggles, the, the um, you use the app, and the app usually allows you to split the screen, and then boom, it becomes normal. And you could adjust the screen, like as far as, um, you know, if it doesn't, you know, for it to fit your, your face, you could dress, you could adjust them. You actually, you could slide the viewer, um, both of them individually, from side to side, and also back and forth, for um, to um, to like focus it, and basically, it works. So here's the next thing now. Um, Actually, let's connect it to one of the bugs. Connecting my phone to the app. Connecting to the bug 5W. That's what I'm working with here. Hit next, next, and boom. I am seeing through this one right here. through this bird right here. The 3D button, you hit, click the 3D button, you see the screen splits, and you just basically in the little slot. Okay. And then you just basically just slide the phone right in. Now because the screen is split, what I'm looking at here is what I'm looking at here is actually boom. So basically, right now, I don't know if you can see it through the, through the basically, what I'm looking at is one image, and that's I just focus it to my eyes, and right now, from the bird. Whatever the bird is looking at, I am seeing one image here, and I could fly. So now, the next question is, what kind of range do you get out of a system like this, right? Basically, your range is going to rely on the distance of the transmitter, which this is the transmitter, transmitting the Wi-Fi that has been beefed up a little bit so that's going to be good so the signal that's being transmitted from the bird the image that's being transmitted from the bird has been beefed up a little bit with this um, antenna here so, and whoa. And so so now it's dependent on your phone. Now if you have a phone that has a strong Wi-Fi um, signal, you know, it picks up the signal strong, you know, the better off it is. So you'd want to use, if you have more than one phone, you want to use a phone like that. Basically now the phone that's on this, I don't know if you can see it right, that phone right there has a stronger, that's an Android, and it has a stronger um, Wi-Fi connection. Basically, that phone will, will keep in touch um, better than this one that's in this goggles right now. But I use this one here because this one has a quicker, has a faster reconnection, which is most important to me. Um, when you lose connection with, with these kind of goggles, with, because it's connected to the phone, when you lose connection to the, the, the 5G connection, the screen just freezes up. Now, usually on your goggles, while you're flying, while you're getting out of range, your your pictures start getting a little distorted, and you know that you're getting out of range, and you have the time to turn around, and you know before you completely get out of range, because you can see that you're getting out of range. You know you're getting out of range. With these now, what happened is it the 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 the, the signal is going to be clear. You're going to be clear. Boom! You're locked in. 
until you're not locked in. And when you're not locked in, the, the, the picture just freezes up. So the trick about that now, when the picture freezes up, you gotta just stop. Because now you can't see anything. You don't know what's going on. Now when you stop, just don't turn. Just use your, your joystick and just go back up. In other words, um, let me show you right. So you're going forward, right? You're going forward. And you lose, your screen freezes up. Stop. And without turning, without using your yaw or turning, just go come back. Back up a little bit and stop and wait. And it all depends on how quick your Wi-Fi reconnects. And that's why I say I like to use a one that reconnects um, the fastest. And that's why I use um, the one that's that, that I have in here right, currently right now. Okay. So um, in another way now, when you're when you're skilled, you believe that you're a skilled pilot. Another way to do it, um, like w w what I'm practicing now, you know, when I when my when that when that screen freeze, freezes up on me, I hit my um, turn, and I just give it like about a half a second, and I make a 360, and then I go forward. So basically, I turn the bird around. Now, I may not get it straight around, but usually the turn is going to be a little bit too short or a little bit too much. But it's going to be in that general area, so when I hit forward, it's still going to come back where, I, where it's going to connect. And you just hit forward a little bit and then stop and wait for your connection. If when you're when you're used to how how long it takes for your phone to reconnect, you will have an idea if boom um, I didn't make it because it should have reconnected by now, or something is going on. So basically, that's that, that's how I use it. And as I said, so now it's for 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 us to take this out and see what kind of range. I'm going to get with my phone and actually another downfall with this is that the phone is inside this unit here so that's another downfall so this is blocking you know it's kind of it's plastic so it's not designed to block signal but trust me every little thing counts so the, by the phone being in here behind this piece of plastic here and this right here which is another piece which you have the option to like slide this piece out that's like if you want to use the camera on the phone itself uh, which is uh, that's something else but um, yeah so next thing so as I said to see what's the distance what's the distance which where I can have a good FPV connection connection between this phone here and this bird which has actually been uh, beefed up a little bit um, with the FPV trans um, transmission or the signal with the FPV signal beefed up. Okay. and um, I'm quite sure you guys see my um, see my me out there with my little scout. Um, usually, my scout don't have this focus stuff on it. This is how my scout usually flies. You guys see me out there. Um, this camera here, this camera here. You know, I had put a camera here so I could pick it up on my goggles. Get up on my uh, issue. And this the antenna here. Get a little antenna here. And it's connected to my camera. And I will beast up the. It's time to turn these birds off.
Okay, and I said, so the signal on this I've been beat up a little bit. Yeah. It's a nice little um nice little scout. Hey, this is what I do use and do tricks. The only downfall is when I'm flying, you see these uh, the prompts in it a little bit. The few of the prompts. I guess to get the prompts out of that view, I would have to lower the camera from here to down here, which I thought about um, before. But the reason why I didn't do that is because this is where the circuit boards are. I'm quite sure I could take the circuit board off from here, put it up here, and switch everything around, but it's not really worth it. Yeah. So I bought the camera for like the for the, uh, the camera for like twelve dollars on from Bangladesh, uh, and it's an FVD camera. Uh, it works off of, um, five volts, and it also works off three volts. Um, this the battery here, and the, I believe, is three volts. So it's operating at its minimum um, voltage. Uh, if it was connected like this one here, this one here is connected to the Bugs 5W. This camera here that's embedded It's connected to the Bugs 5W um, pulse supply. Let me take this battery out. Look like it's about to fall out. Okay. Yeah. So. It's been powered by this battery here, which my backup guys. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, so it's been powered by this battery here, and um, this is 7.4 volts, uh, one, uh, 1800 milliamps. So I guess that's saying that it could give me 18 minutes of fly. Um, on the normal, um, on the 25C, the normal train. Okay, and yeah, so basically what I'm saying is now, this, when it's connected to, to this, this will give it, and you can, you don't connect it to 7 volts. Um, you connect the, the, the camera to 5 volts. So when it's getting a good 5 volts, it's it'll be able to give you even a bit a longer range and a more clearer pitch to to, to the plate. Well, you know, early before the kids them comes out or whatever, you know, you gotta uh, you know you gotta make sure you, you don't do these things around kids, you know, especially kids. Yes, but you know the the little they got all the swings and the stuff like that, and I use that as an obstacle course. You know, I thought about buying me some hoops and buying me some obstacle courses to practice, you know, and I was thinking, you know, what and what can I use? And then I seen a playground and I realized that, well, you know, these are obstacles course. The only problem is now most of those um those equipment have metal in it. So you're gonna have a, a lot of interference. Not just some, but you're gonna have a good amount of interference while you're flying through and around these objects, but um, it gives you a chance to practice, you know, it gives you a chance to practice and, you know, like, if you're flying FPV and you zoom around a building and you, you go close, say, you go close enough to a building where the signal, the Wi-Fi is so strong and basically um, on a, a similar channel as yours, and it boom kind of overtakes there or overpowers your 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 little vessel, you know. And what what you do, you know, when your um, your FPV is distorted and it's not being clear, um, you know. You know, you it, it, it you know, basically what as I say, what you have to do is one out of two. If you've been flying a straight distance. And you realize that your your FPV is boom, you lost sight. Stop. If you've been traveling in a straight distance, just stop and just come back on on the um, on your throttle. Back up. Just back up. Okay. 
and then just back up a little bit and wait for the signal to come back. Now, if you've been doing all of this and going around this and that, and you're not sure that coming back straight is going to work for you, what you do, you stop. And by now, you should have a good idea of what a 360 is. Okay, now you've been flying, so you should have a good idea where is it better to turn on the right or is it better to turn on the left? You've been flying. There's, where's the, big, the biggest clearance? The biggest clearance on your right, try to do a 360 to, to the right and then go forward a little bit and stop. Now, as I said, now if you're traveling and boom, you're out of range. If you try to do a 360, you might not be good enough to do a complete 360. But say you come a little bit short, you still will be traveling back closer to the transmitter to pick up back your signal. Or even say you did it and you went a little bit too much. Instead of doing a 360, you did a, 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 a you did it a little bit too much. You're still traveling back, back towards to, to, to the transmitter. So you hit forward, you travel a little back, and you wait, and you should pick up the signal. You know, if you did all of this, and you end up back, and when you're hitting forward, you're still not going to get, getting back any signal. You know, I mean, you should have an idea of what a 360 is, or even close. Just try to get close. You stop, and you try to get close to a 360. See, even if you bump, you're not a full 360, you're still coming back at least to some degree. And then you get signal, you go, once you get your signal, then you could actually see well, where, where am I? You know, once you get the signal, you stop there, you get the signal, you look around, and you say, okay, I need to be this way. And you come back, and then you do your thing. And that's how, you, that's how it's done. All right, so with all that said, I think as I said, I usually end with, you know, that's enough of the talking. Now it's time to do the walking. Okay, so now it's time to take this out. We're going to take this bug out. Well, actually, we're going to take this one out. This one here is my um, for long distance. If I'm, if I'm going to be sending my bird over, you know, close over a mile, um, or say a mile and over, I'll send this bird out. I can always beef up my antenna, or I could just, you know, like whatever. But as I said, I did, I did the test, and this antenna here, even though it's a uh, it's for 5.8 and the bird communicate to its controller with four with two on 2.4 megahertz not 5.8 this antenna here actually it seems like it's dual this much that's how okay you know what I thought about it and I was like you know I don't understand how does this 5.8 you know works so good and I just read it this this is like a dual antenna system but it what it does is signal is circular this way so when it's up in the air it's shooting sig it's shooting this a signal in a circular way in an even way and the your your trans your transmitter now or your controller or whatever you want to put or whatever you want to identify it, you know. Its antenna is shooting the signal, turn it this way, you could always tilt it so it's shooting a signal this way. This way will give you distance this way will give you distance this way will give you coverage 
so that way you don't have to continue you don't have to point your antenna directly at the um, at the bird antenna so with this a with, with, with this with the ability to turn it flat side and flat side will give you a straight more straight you go flat side in this and you aim it straight at your bird and you get the the, the most distance uh, the best distance with it being flat side but you have to be aiming at it if you turn just a little bit boom you lost the signal now don't having a circular it's like you're shooting your signal even if even if the bird were behind you you didn't have you wouldn't have to turn around because your signal would be circular instead of straight different between horizontally and vertical okay so that's how that's that's how this works but as I say we're not sending this one up we're not sending this one up basically the reason why as I said the um, the FPV on this one here the antenna broke off so this one here the FPV is not beefed up on this one actually there's no antenna connected to this FPV so as soon as the bird reaches like about um, 20 feet, feet away boom your FPV is gone but this one here this is the one we're going to be sending up this one the, the range hasn't been beat though this is stop on the range but the antenna the FPV the camera has been beefed up a little bit and I said